The third-seeded Colonels play three games in three days on their way to the program's sixth Ohio Valley Conference Tournament Championship, knocking out the two highest-seeded teams in the semifinals and finals. The tournament began for EKU against number six Southeast Missouri. Eastern led from start to finish in a convincing 84-76 victory. The Colonels jumped on top early and never looked back. EKU scored the first eight points and twice built a lead as large as 20 in the first half. Senior Orlando Williams came off the bench to go four for four from three-point range and score 14 points in the first half. Early in the second half, a pair of Eric Stutz free throws gave the Colonels their largest lead of the contest, 51-29. Junior Corey Walden led Eastern with 17 points, five rebounds, and three steals. Senior Terrius Johnson added 12 points and a team high seven rebounds. One night later, it was back to work against number two Murray State, the team that ended the Colonels tournament run in the semifinals last year. This time, Eastern Kentucky pulled out an exciting 86-83 win to advance to the championship game. In what would become a tournament theme, EKU jumped on top early again and led for all but 41 seconds of the game. Murray State's last lead came following a three-pointer to make it 13-12. From there, Johnson netted back-to-back -back layups with Eastern the lead for good. The Colonels hit their first 13 two-point attempts on the way to shooting 66% from the floor in the first half. Two Walden free throws right before intermission gave EKU a 46-37 cushion at the break. The Colonels twice extended the lead to 12 points in the second stanza. The racers slowly balled their way back, thanks in large part to EKU foul trouble. MSU tied it up at 79-79 on a three-pointer with 133 remaining. Walden immediately answered with an old-fashioned three-point play on a driving layup to keep the Colonels in front. On Murray's next possession, Walden came up with a steal and drove the length of the court to extend the lead back to five points, 84-79. A free throw by Glenn Cozy with 18 seconds left, but EKU up by three. Murray State had one final chance to send the game into overtime, but the racers missed a pair of three-point attempts on their final possession. EKU shot 59% from the floor. Walden paced Eastern with 24 points, four assists, and a career-best six steals. Four others reached double figures, led by Cozy with 17 points. On Saturday, Eastern defeated top-seeded Belmont, 79-73, to capture the tournament title. EKU used a hot shooting first half and veteran play from its guards down the stretch to win for the 24th time this season. Lynn Cozy, Terrius Johnson, and Corey Walden were named to the OVC All-Tournament team, with Walden snagging most valuable player honors. The junior posted a career-high 29 points. Cozy came up huge with a three-pointer at the top of the key to break a 54-54 tie with 4.52 left. The gutsy long-range bomb keyed an 8-0 run that gave EKU space at 62-54 with 3.40 to go. The Bruins got to within four with 1.30 to go, but Cozy, the league's leading three-point shooter, responded with another long-range bomb that bolstered the lead to 68-61. EKU started the game on fire, connecting on four long-range shots to take a 12-0 lead before the first media timeout. Following Walden in the scoring column were Cozy with 23 points and Johnson with 15. Eastern shot 48% from the field and 50% from behind the yard. A large group of Eastern Kentucky fans welcomed the 2014 Ohio Valley Conference champions home on Sunday. The team bus received a police escort to campus. As the bus pulled into the parking lot, fans erupted with cheers as We Are the Champions began playing. The Colonels will learn who they play in the NCAA tournament when the pairings are announced on Sunday night. Eastern fans are encouraged to join the team as they watch the selection show.